five reasons your singing is still shit. Hi guys, my name is Dion. I'm a singing teacher based in Brighton, UK. And in today's video, I want to discuss um, something which quite a lot of people ask. Um, why is their singing not improving as much as they would like? So you've been having singing lessons or you've been self-teaching for a while now, um, but you honestly don't think that you can hear any changes in your voice and it's frustrating the hell out of you. So what could the reasons be? So, number one, are you really practicing enough? Improving your singing means building muscle memory, kicking bad habits, and generally training your body and your voice to work in a different and more efficient way. So this sort of shit doesn't happen overnight. It's just like learning how to walk. If you see a two year old or however old kids are when they learn to walk, and they literally at first they're walking around like tiny little drunk human beings. And it's because their motor skills haven't developed enough yet. They haven't built up that muscle memory to walk like we do. We don't have, we don't have to think about now, okay, put left foot forward, right foot forward, we just do it. But when we were first learning as young, young children, it was something that we had to practice for usually months and months and months. And you see little kids falling over all of the time. I find it quite funny, I'm sure lots of people don't. But we have had a lot more practice than these guys have, okay? And it's exactly the same as singing. It takes a while to build. If you're not practicing, if you're not putting the work in, why are you gonna be seeing big changes in your voice? Number two, you are practicing, but unfortunately just not doing it in the correct way. And um, for example, singing the same song over and over again aimlessly and just expecting to nail it eventually usually isn't the best way of going about something. When practicing at home, you need to know exactly what your goal is and you need to be constantly analyzing yourself of how far away or close to the goal you are. And um, best way of doing this is by recording yourself in every single practice session. Say for instance, you're really Really struggling um, on a chorus part of a song um, record yourself singing that chorus record yourself yeah I did say that right record yourself singing that chorus listen back to it and think okay where is it that I'm going wrong what am I struggling with am I too shouty am I too breathy once you can figure out what it is you need to improve then you can go about improving that Next point is kind of carrying on from the previous one. Uh, this is number three. Um, do you even know what it is that you want to improve? Um, I've had loads of people come to me in the initial consultation and when I ask them what their specific goals are for the singing, they just say, I want to be better. And like, you need to be more specific than that. I just want to be better. I mean, what the fuck does that mean? Like, where are you now? Where do you want to be? We need specifics. What do you want to improve? Is it breath control? Is it um, belting? Is it hitting higher notes, lower notes? Um, do you just want to gain more confidence when performing in front of an audience? Do you want better vibrato? Do you want a warmer tone? These are specifics that I can help you with, that other singing teachers can help you with, that you can help yourself with. But you need to know what your specific goals are, not just, I want to be better. Number four, you are improving, but you just haven't noticed it. Us singers were sensitive souls, um, and some singers just honestly don't see the awesome changes that are happening in their voices. It's just like when you see, um, say you've got a little nephew or something, um, and you only see them once every few months, and each time you see them, you just notice these massive changes in them. They're getting taller, sometimes they're getting fatter, they're getting more cheeky. Um, all of these changes you're really noticing because you're only seeing them every few months their parents aren't necessarily seeing the changes because they live with that child so to them the, the changes are just not as noticeable and it's the same with your singing you live with your voice and sometimes you just might not hear all of the changes that are happening and again this is why it's really really important to record yourself Number five, and the final point, incredibly, incredibly important, that important that Molly wanted to join you for it. You haven't found the right vocal teacher yet. Choosing the right vocal coach can be tough because, I mean, if you just Google it, there's so bloody many out there. The thing is, it's a largely, largely unregulated practice. Any fucker can set themselves out to be a singing teacher. You could literally upload a video now on YouTube and say that you're a singing teacher. 
and who's gonna say that you're not? I mean, you might s do some really awful videos and people call you out eventually, but anyone can declare themselves as a singing teacher. It's for that reason that there's a lot of really, really bad ones out there. So make sure that you do your homework. It's not a case of just clicking with the teacher and then being a nice person. You wanna know that the singing teacher knows their shit. Um, ask the singing teacher these points. Sorry, I keep spinning on my chair, you're probably going really dizzy. And you, I do apologize. Education. Does the singing teacher, do they have any formal recognised qualifications? So they've got a music, a singing degree, um, their own vocal training. What vocal training have they had in the past? Sorry, I'm just going to nick my chair. Um, have, yeah, have they had any vocal training themselves? Have they done anything like a still uh, voice training, which is brilliant? Um, what singing lessons have they had themselves in the past? Are they just completely self-taught? Um, make sure to find out. Performance experience, are they gigging themselves at the moment? If um, working on developing your singing career is something you want to do, um, it's probably wise to get a singing teacher who has done it themselves, who has forged a career out of singing. Ongoing training. Um, and again, this is probably one of, the, for myself as well, one of the most important points. A good vocal coach will never ever stop learning. There's loads out there, um, including these kind of like recent graduates. Who think, I've got my BA now. That's degree, if if you don't call it the same thing in like America. Um, I've got my degree now. Um, that's it. I literally know everything. Brilliant. I think the camera's dropping down. I do apologise. <laughs> Close up. Sorry, lots my train of thought now. Uh, yeah, you've got these graduates who are coming out fresh out of uni thinking, that's it, know everything now, what else is there to learn? Um, and that's complete bullshit. There's constantly new developments, there's constantly new research being done. Um, a good vocal coach will never ever stop learning. I just signed up to another course which is happening in a couple of months time, working on um, fixing, basically, uh, broken voices. And I can't wait for it, because I just, absolutely love learning new shit uh, so make sure you do your homework on the tutors make sure that they know what the hell they're talking about and um, uh, and also you want to you want to make sure that you like the tutor as well there's been people who come for consultations with me and they probably don't like i, I might swear too much and um, they just don't like my delivery and again that's absolutely fine you're spending a lot of money with these singing tutors so you want to make sure you're clicking with them as well as knowing that they know their shit oh Last point as well, the teaching rate, how much they charge. Is the tutor's rate reflective of their experience and the current market? Because you have to remember, just being really, really expensive doesn't necessarily guarantee good value, okay? Do your homework on the teacher, make sure you find the best one for you, and best of luck on your singing journey. I want to see you improve, I know you want to see you improve, and um, if there's anything I can help you with at all, just leave a comment in the comment section, and make sure to subscribe, because I'll be doing some, um, some more vocal tips and advice soon, and ciao bitches!